We have landed up in Athens and we are being led along by yes, the tour guide. Australians also in America. They have to travel up the world. You know? well, what's your first name? Rose. 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 That's a good Irish name. <laughs> the Greek name is Triandafi actually. Good English name, probably. Triandafi. Yes, and it's a flower. There and it's very busy. The, the roads are shocking. The purple trees. And this is the main pedestrian area, apparently. And we're heading to the Acropolis, I believe. We saw a lot in the era. Having a wee smoke. Naughty place. That's Acropolis. There's the Acropolis, apparently. This way, on your right, are the tickets and the entrance for Acropolis. On your left is Acropolis Museum. And this way is Placa area with the souvenir shops and the taverns and everything. And there are also public toilets there on your uh, right hand. Uh, make sure that you are this, uh, on Melina statue at Tutway because the bus has to leave. And we have to meet at the Melina statue at 2.20. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. And our bus pickup is 220, so there's no way that we get up around the Acropolis. It's, uh, it's about half nine at the minute. It's quarter to ten. So by the time we got up and dandered up around there, there it could be two or three hours at least. And I'm waiting in queues for tickets and such like. So you'd have a, only a limited time, I'm afraid. So that's the way it goes. I'm not awfully worried about missing it, to be quite honest. I'll just walk up to the entrance here. The tickets are 30 euro, so that would be 60 euro for us, so not an awful lot of climbing, which my legs just wouldn't, wouldn't do with. So 30 euro a ticket. <coughs> the ticket of 30 euro is actually uh, valid for five days and it covers the Acropolis, the ancient Agora, uh, the Roman Agora, Hadrian's Library, Olympian, Kermakos, and Aristotle's like Keon. And then you can get uh, another ticket for 20 euro. Just for the Acropolis. So that's the way it goes. Gives a lot of miss. And this is the Acropolis Museum. And don't know whether we'll get into it or not. And this wasn't street art, this was just a, an advertising hoarding. 
what else we got in the menu? And this is your Acropolis from a different angle. There's all the people. Up on the wall, where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> and they're all looking down at me and saying, This is boring. Where are they? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. It might be where I've And lots of little statues, little bits of. Uh, Little ornamental additions here that people could miss. <laughs> and naked man. <laughs> There's some of the old columns there. And it sounds as if they're doing a bit of work, archaeological work, in that garden in this area. <coughs> Quite sure what this is. These are the uh, cypress trees, I believe. They're all over the place. Look at the orange tree. And this guy here is picking them up. gig going on here. Old Man Rouge. Rock on. No props. There's all sorts going on here. Yeah. Oops. Noble police. And the Acropolis was built according to my learned guide, Tanya, in the fifth set. Uh, five, 5th century BC. So people like St. Paul would have been knocking about around here uh, in the Bible. He would have come to here. And the Parthenon is up here as well. And this is down at the Acropolis Museum. And this is actually what you would see up on the Acropolis. It's all been dug out meticulously. This is brilliant. These are the, the, the streets and houses. Excellent. Love it.
it's interesting looking at this that this dates from 5 BC, so uh, almost 3,000 years old. Now look at this for nature at its finest. And nobody pays any attention to it. Oh, there's another lady who does, who is looking. That's beautiful. I just had a Greek, a Greek soldier or two walking by. That good.